Hello guys, happy Thursday. Happy to have you here. We are continuing on the back of my splendid sampler quilt along quilt. I'm using all the scraps from the front of my quilt. All the scraps I'm sewing together in an improv style. I'm sewing them together for the back of my quilt. Here are a few of the little guys. I'm gonna sew these two together because I think they look, look cute together. Uh, and I finished gathering all my scraps. I had this little, I don't know if you guys remember my little metal bin. I opened that up and <laughs> it was full of scraps. So I added that to my current pile of scraps. I trimmed them all already. So I've trimmed them all into little rectangles. Some of them are triangles. And uh, I've also pressed them already and I even organized them into piles a little bit. Not so much that I won't be able to improv anymore. I just did uh, the square stuff together and the uh, triangles together basically. So we're gonna get sewing to today. I want to continue making more of these little blocks and I'm hoping by Monday we'll be sewing together the quilt and the back of the quilt into larger and larger pieces. So that's the plan. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I think we'll do this again tomorrow, Friday as well, sewing together these blocks, but we'll see how it goes tonight. Uh, thanks for coming in. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery patterns and kits. Uh, I'm the author of Sew and Stitch Embroidery, and I'm here every night at 9.30 p.m. Central. Oh, you're having issues frozen again. Ugh. Well, hopefully it's not one of those nights where where the tech just goes weird again. Uh, it's not saying anything weird on my end yet, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I'm going to flip you guys around and we'll get started. Thanks again for popping in. So just let me know, guys, if it's not working for you guys again today. So here, I've, I pressed all these already. Here are all the rest of my scraps all the you know rectangular pieces i did find a little a few larger pieces i mean this really isn't that large but a few of them uh, i did actually find a whole pile of triangles so i thought we'd start pairing these up and um do some triangles tonight and see how that goes so i'm gonna just start doing that uh so it looks like some of you might still be frozen I'm gonna just let it sit for a little longer. I'm gonna just match up guys that are the same size. That's about the same. I have a lot of these blue, blue, uh, light blue and dark blue ones, uh, just because it was from the binding, the binding and the borders. So there's a few of those. I'll go in your end. Okay, I'm, I think I'm gonna just keep going tonight. Uh, last time when I went out, my feed for the uh, YouTube thing got all messed up, so I think I'm gonna stick to it tonight. Look, I even have a few ones that have are kind of sewn together. It's big enough. Yeah, maybe like that. All right, I have a few here. I'm, I think I'm gonna just get started. I'll I'll sew. I'll sew these together and then just, uh, it'll give me a little bit more room and we'll see how it goes. But triangle, triangle, triangles tonight to start out with and we'll just see where that takes us. And we'll press all these open and I will add them to the rectangle pile we're just gonna chain piece a whole pile of these no oh, I like this one with the, the little pieced bit to it already. That triangle is going to get super small in there, that little yellow bit. I'm glad I kept all these. This is going to be fun. All right. Oh, one more here. Ooh, this one's getting a little 
<laughs> All right, not quite a quarter inch seam allowance, but we'll see how that goes. All right, let's put a few more together. Oh, Pam, you're, um, you're, yours is going to the long arm. That's exciting. Yeah, so I'm curious too. I've never worked with a long arm quilter before. Uh, do you get to kind of choose what happens with it or how does that typically work? How exciting though. It's nice to be able to get that far, I bet. I wouldn't quite know, but we're getting there here. All right, that's a good pile. Let's get those together and then we'll put together a few more. It's a whole pile of triangles. So a lot of these triangles are from uh, when we made like flying geese units or half square triangles. That sort of thing. These are the excess triangles. Oh, you chose an all over pattern. Oh, that's nice. That's an easy, uh, pretty way to do it. Oh, so then are you, Joe, are you, uh, are you going to, did you sew all your like doodads and stuff on and buttons and all that? Or do you have to wait till after it's back to the long arm? Wilter. Kind of wondering about that. How exciting. Man, I would freaking love one of those things. <laughs> I, I have no idea what I do with myself, but uh, what a nice toy that would be, that giant uh, long arm quilting machine. <laughs> I'd find a good use for it, I'm thinking. She's going to use, not use template wise. I didn't want my appliques embroider and oh yeah, yeah. She will do each block based on a block. Oh, well that'll be pretty. Each block based on the block. That'll make it pretty unique. Yeah, because then you're not Man, this one's not quite the right size. Then you're not going over it with, um, yeah, over the embroideries and stuff. There, that's a little bit better size. Yeah, and some of that applique, you know, you work so hard to make it, like, poofy, some of that applique, and then it'd be a bummer to stitch it all down. Okay. Got a pile more here. A lot of these light blue and dark blue ones, so we're gonna have to end up matching a pile of those together. But I'm trying to trying to mix and match them with some of these other ones. Here's a little one. Oop, here's one of these fun ones again. Use my back from the quilter. Oh, that's nice. Oh, you had yours back from the quilter already. Oh, wow. Nice, nice, nice. So now you're going to add, add the little extra bits on. All right, looking for a piece this big. There we go. Kind of an odd looking triangle, but it'll work. Fun. So you are at the finishing stages for sure. It's very exciting. go together. Man, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> That's awesome though. All right, my uh, space is full again. Let's keep going on these. Oh, 
Uh, okay, so it looks like a few people are having trouble playing theirs again tonight. Hmm. But it seems to be working for a bunch of other people, so I don't know. I think we'll just let it go and see how it, see what happens. I wonder if Facebook did an update. You could try uh, uninstalling Facebook, the app, and installing it again. That actually sometimes works, even though it sounds crazy. Uh, I might do that as well today, just to double check. All right, good, it's working. See, it's working. I don't know what the deal is. Facebook's being crazy. Unless it's my phone again. I wonder, uh, it did do an update? Oh, okay, so, so guys, Facebook did do an update. So sometimes to get that update to work, it sounds crazy, but I've had to do it before. You have to actually, sometimes delete the app and then open it and then uh, reinstall it. So uh, I will do that when I'm done here as well. I'm sorry if it isn't working for you guys. Uh, I don't know if you, anyone can hear me, but it will be up on YouTube and I'll be doing this again tomorrow too. So we'll get it working then. You usually take one quilt a year to be quilted. The smaller you do myself. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you got issues with Pat Sloan. So um, I'm guessing, I don't know if someone can type it in here, but it sounds like it's a Facebook update issue. If like, you know, if Pat's video isn't working well for some people too, uh, you gotta update the app and I will as well um, when I'm done here. Look at our little, Shane's. It's like a little banner. Oh my gosh, there's so many. And we're still not done. Uh, but yeah, sometimes you have to delete the app and put it back in again. Which blows, but... So I don't think it was the storms, actually. I think now, now that I'm hearing more from people, I think it's Maybe a Facebook update. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Well, it'll get fixed, and then we'll be up and running again. Oh, running out of triangles here. That one's a little smaller. Ooh, I might have a stray when I'm done. Sure enough, I have uh, one little lone uh, triangle. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll put that up in the pile up there, but this is it for the triangles. Oop. Rebooted and nothing. Well, we're just, I'm going to have to do the update on my end too. We'll see what happens. machines eating these triangles. There's not much to grab onto. It's just these little corners. Hey Susan. Hey everyone. Thanks for coming 
coming in again, guys. I know that there's been a few troubles. I think it's a Facebook update, and I'll have to do the update on my end to here, but hopefully we're back up and running tomorrow. Only a couple more triangles. I went through all my scraps, uh, my scrap bins from this project, had a whole pile of triangles, so I'm starting out tonight by sewing all of them together. I'm not doing a very straight job. Uh, this wouldn't, this wouldn't pass on my actual splinted sampler front. I'm kind of just going, wiggling all over the place here, and uh, my seams wouldn't match up, and my sides wouldn't be right for the front. But luckily for the back, we're improving the whole thing, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter quite so much. Alright, this is the last triangle. Okay. Look at all these guys. So many. Oh my god, there really are a lot of them. Holy cow. So alright, let's let's snip all these and we'll press them open. I think we're gonna have to trim them too. And then we'll have all of our little triangles done. All the little triangle scraps used up. And then we can start assembling some more of these improv blocks. I just had that one lone little triangle. Oh well. Some piles here. All different sizes too. They're they're perfect for improv because because they're all going to end up different sizes. The whole purpose of this the the method that I'm doing for the improv piecing is uh, that you take a small piece and a big piece and to sew them together, you have to make the small piece as big as the big piece. So you got to sew another little piece to it to make it longer. Then you sew the two together. The two chunks together, and that's that's all there is to it. Alright, here we are. Let's press with the key caps. Look, here's all the, oh I got here's all the rest of my my pile. Lot to choose from tonight, but it's all ready to go. Uh, I'm happy about that. Alright, I gotta lose. Lose my sweater, I think. Okay, here we go. I got a couple piles of these, so let's get them both up here right away. Oh, I think my iron's got to wake up again. Make a little. Still put. Uh, I'll have to put some batting underneath this uh, ironing board. That's why I have the the kitties here right now. This kitty towel uh, because my iron was burning my fabric a little bit. So the towels. Oh, look at that. Tiny, tiny triangle hiding in there. That's funny. Itty bitty. Oh gosh. Oh, this one got iron or got sewn all over the place. I think it'll still work though. And it's going to take an evening just to make all these triangles or half square triangles you know I suppose we could have used some of these triangles eh, maybe not 
I say we could have used some of them to make flying geese, but that wouldn't have really worked all that well since they're cut already. There's another tiny, tiny piece of yellow. <laughs> tiny hidden triangles. No one's ever going to see those. But I'll know they're there and that'll make me happy. Man, if these were big enough, I'd have a whole quilt with just these triangles, Casper triangles. Wow, this one's small. Okay, let's keep that. Oh, itty bitty. That one's cute. We'll trim all those uh, kitty ears off of them. <laughs> the little dog ears. Yep, Susan, this is for the back of my quilt. I'm using all the scraps that I had left over from the front of the quilt. I am kind of sewing them all together every which way for the for the back of the quilt. So yeah, so some of these ones that are all kind of weird and pieced, that's because the oops, this is pressed on the side. That's because the front of the quilt, we just trim that piece off from it somewhere along the way. I know, they're so small. I'm, I used up all the big pieces of scraps already, so now I'm down to like the itty bitties and, uh, you know, some of them could have gone in the trash probably, or I have that, I have that bag full of the, the uber small scraps that I can't really sew. A few of these could have probably gone into, the, into there, but I don't know. I'm getting crazy. All right, I'll try, uh, I'm, I'm probably not going to back out of this tonight, but I will update, I will uninstall and reinstall the app on my end too and see, see if that helps tomorrow for the people who can't get in tonight. Maybe the interwebs will tell me what's going on. Wow, I still have a stack here. Crazy. A lot of these blue, light blue and dark blue ones were from my the binding of the binding and that little mini border on the front of the quilt. Um, I don't have enough scraps for the back. Um, I do have a lot of this, this fabric here, the dark blue with the black squares. So I'll use that up. So here's what I'm thinking. We were talking about a few ideas for this. Uh, I think I'm going to lay all this out on the floor, all of the little improv pieces that I've done, improv blocks. And uh, I'm going to start uh, just arranging them and putting the, that, my fabric with the, the dark blue with the black squares on it, I'll start filling in the areas with that. And any other fabric, any other pieces, or any other, any, the rest of the size of the back of the quilt, I think I'll fill in with this dark fabric that is the border from the front of the quilt because I have that on the bolt. So I, I have tons of that, of this dark fabric as well. Oh, oh, you're, oh my gosh, are you, you're translating what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to use for, for the back. So I'll start with the shapes and add on the dark blue with the black squares and then add the dark blue kind of around that. I think it's going to still be a mishmash. And I might not center, I might not put all this stuff in the center. It might be kind of all over the quilt a little bit. That's, 
that's my next bit that I'm going to try and figure out. So I think today and tomorrow we'll make more blocks, and then on Saturday maybe I'll start, uh, Saturday or Sunday I might start playing with all that. Okay, here. Here we go. I'm going to just go, man, a lot of little steps for these. I'm just going to go around and snip them all. And then you know what? I'm going to just add them to my pile up here. Because now they're, now they're squares and they can go on the, the square slash rectangle pile for me to use with the with the improv piecing. So we, we kind of prep these pieces to go in the, in the pool. In the pool of pieces. Those are fun. A tiny little tiny little yellow triangle in there. I probably wouldn't need to snip these off to sew it, but uh, it does make it easier to see the edge of the fabric. They're wonky. That's okay. It's meant to be wonky. I would like to try to make at least one of these tonight. It is um it is already getting late here, but that's where I kind of at our usual halfway point. Cool to see all these half square triangles though. Look at all these itty bitty triangles. I should do a count on how many times I say triangles tonight. You should say some yellow in the middle of a huge piece of dark. Oh, I could have a tiny little bright yellow piece in that dark. Oh, I like that. I do have some yellow hiding around, or even um, just a lot of these blocks have yellow, all that, you know, see there's another one, just a tiny little piece of yellow, little yellow piece hidden somewhere in the back. I do actually really like that idea. Maybe I will save like one of, I'll save like this piece or something and, and hide it somewhere. I'll just throw that. Threw it in the other, in my finished blocks pile. Not finished, but improv blocks pile. We'll see what it looks like in the layout all by its lonesome somewhere. I think that's fun. All right, this pile's getting smaller. I did not change my blade yet. Isn't that the worst? It's the last thing I think of, and I, I think of it right before I'm about to go come on here. And it's like, oh, dang. I needed to change that. So, yeah, we're working through it yet. I think I did change my needle, though, before we started, um, like, doing the borders and stuff. So the needle should be good yet. I kind of think of those at the same time, the needle and the blade now. I never used to think about that, about the needle, but I'm trying to change that more often. I have more spares laying around. Oh, there we are. This is the last one already. Perfect. Oh, there's an example of my blade not being sharp. Okay, so all these guys I'm going to put in... Here is my super mini scrappy bag. Um, I'll put those in there. I might do some of those uh, where we kind of make our own fabric with all the scraps. I might make more of those little squares or, or make a bag out of them or something. I'm not quite sure, but I do want to kind of use up all of these yet too. And these will go a long way, all these little scraps. But okay, now we're back to uh, our pieces. And actually, uh, like I said at the beginning here, I have um, 
we did this piece yesterday and it was kind of this weird lonesome piece <laughs> but uh when i was i i stacked up my blocks a little nicer there they all are in the corner there i stacked them all up all the improv blocks and i found i found this this little guy here and it was about the same size and i thought it was kind of cool like when we match up this line again here so i'm gonna sew i'm gonna sew these two together to get us going tonight in improv land and then we'll start up another one right away and we'll do at least at least one more so these are already pressed in opposite directions these this middle seam so i'm going to nest those seams together and i think we'll get a really nice matching uh, bit matching point there Lining it up. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I hear someone's car alarm. Hope that's not our car alarm. Nope. <laughs> Neighbors <laughs> never tell sometimes. All right. See, that looks so fun. I love it. It's so, uh, I love uh, how little this detailed bit down here. All right, guys, I'm, I'm sorry it's not working tonight for, for some of you. Um, I will be sure to update the app on my side. Uh, like by update, I mean I'm gonna uninstall it and reinstall it completely, and we'll see see if that works out. All right, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. That we found a home for this guy, and I I think it's really cute. So here's a block. Uh, let's start a new one tonight. So why don't I grab one of our little triangles, and uh, let's grab. I'm just gonna kind of let's let's shuffle this up a little bit. Here we go. Here's a big piece. Let's put, let's put one of these pieces with this piece. So we need to fill in this space. Uh, what do we got that can do that? Oh, this is this is a pretty good size. Why don't we do that? And then we'll have a little white piece done. Actually, we could fill in this side too. So why don't we start with that? I think we'll just hang out where you can see both the machine and the cutting board at the same time. All right, let's press. Okay, that's kind of fun. It looks like a flag almost. All right, so uh, now this we could we could just trim this and sew it together, or we could try to fill in this space before before we put that on, which would be kind of fun. This might this might be just right because we're gonna lose about a half of an inch because we're gonna lose a quarter inch on this side and a quarter inch on that side. So uh, this is the right width. Why don't we give that a go? Quick decisions, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, but that's what's nice about having this cut already. Uh, it's easy to just grab and go when they're all cleaned up and pressed and cut already. So sometimes, oh, you didn't update Facebook yet? Maybe that's why mine is working. Oh, that's interesting. Susan, that could very likely be. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna, up oh, oh no, look, I sewed in, uh, the, <laughs> I sewed in a little piece here, a little hidden, hidden square back, hidden square back there, so let's cut that out. I got a little bit in the seam allowance yet, but oh well. 
because I got to look a little bit better. But I will uh, update mine, and by update I mean uninstall and then install again. Facebook and uh, I don't know. We'll see. See if that helps. Maybe everyone's will work then. All right. Here's the start of a block. Where do I like it better? You know, I know we have some long strips. I'm tempted to put one of these strips in the middle here. Because I, I, I don't know. For some reason, I'm not liking how it butts up against it. I don't know. I don't know why. It's not like I can make tons of decisions. Or like, a, like there's a lot of decision making to be had. Uh, but why not? Oh, here's a longer piece. There, let's use this piece. I thought I saw a longer piece like this earlier. So let's just throw this guy in the middle here. I think that's the plan. I'm going to trim him up a little bit. We'll use, we'll use this piece later. There, I think I'll like this a little bit better. I think I'm gonna, before I press, I think I will try and sew on the other piece right away. Might be a little difficult, but we're gonna give it a try. Move it down a little. This piece is a little smaller than the, the other piece yet, which is fine. We will trim it, and that'll be good. Okay, let's see what this looks like now. We'll just press it all to one side. Actually, could we press it to the middle? That's what we're going to do. We're going to press it to this middle blue piece. Feels like that's where it wants to go the most. The least amount of bulk. See, barely fits in there. This is so small. <laughs> I like it. That's a pretty blue in the middle there. So there we go. I, I think that's fun. I think this is really cute now. I do, I like that addition in there. Ah. Gina, I'm so sorry about that. Um, I'm, I really hope that updating it on my end will, will help this all out a little bit. So hopefully it's good tomorrow. But there we go. And you know what, guys? I think we're going to just leave it at that tonight. Actually, you know what? Why don't we sew one more piece on just to make it a little more square for no reason other than we're here. Um, <laughs> okay, now I want to continue. So let's, let's, uh, I'm going to sew this little itty bitty piece to here and then we'll sew it together. Sorry, I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> The uh, Amazon Echo just talk to me. It freaks me out when it does that. All right. So this little guy to here, it's going to be another really skinny one. I think it's kind of fun. You can also go this direction. I 
think I like that. Yeah, I think I like I like that. I think your eye kind of follows the white, so now your eye goes like this, which kind of brings you around, versus when this was down here, your eye just kind of goes and off the page. I think this makes it a more of a circular motion where your eye goes. That's a graphic design-y thing. I went to um, school for graphic design, and you always had to pay attention to where you're, you know, where you think uh, a person's eyes are going to go when they look at the page. Ideally, you want to keep bringing them around and around back into the back into the design so that they stay there a little longer. Well, press this little strip. You done three little flowers on the embroidered black sixty. Oh, fun! Hearts of flowers. Oh, <laughs> plodding along. Uh, they'll finish it in about five years. Yeah, you know what? That's how I felt too. And it did take over a year <laughs> of uh, just, but you know, just here every night for an hour and, you know, it eventually gets done. Alright, well this isn't quite square. Not that it needs to be square, but uh, I don't know, it was kind of fun trying to make it square. But now I think we'll leave this block at, at this point and... Um, See where it fits in the larger quilt. Just finish trimming it up. There we go. I don't know. I think it's pretty cute. Another interesting improv block, I think. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna flip you around, and we'll call it an evening tonight. And uh, again, I, I hope it'll work a little bit better tomorrow. I'll kind of dig around on my end and see if I can do anything. So, all right, gonna flip you around. Hey there again guys. Sorry it wasn't working again. Uh, we'll try and figure that out. But here we are. I think I like it like this. Yeah, this is how we uh, were sewing it together. But another little improv block. These are so fun to make. And I mean, you could do this with, with much larger pieces than I'm using. Um, I'm just, you know, these are the size of pieces that I have. So I'm ending up with itty bitty little blocks, improv blocks here. But I don't know. I'm having a great time. Uh, I hope you guys give this a try. It's really fun. It's really relaxing, actually. So, all right. Thanks again. I will get this up on YouTube at Penguin and Fish Movies, and it will stay here on Facebook at Penguin and Fish. So thanks again, guys, and I will check you again tomorrow at 9.30 p.m. Central. We'll see if we can get this working a little bit better. So have a great night. See you later.